I am going to speak about something and I want you to really, really listen. You are getting information <laughs> that took me years to understand. And I am not saying that I am on the top level of being close to God. I am not saying that because I don't think I am by far. If you want to excel more in God, what is very obvious and apparent to me, the higher that you want to excel in God, you have to become much more humble and you have to be a servant, not only to God, but to people as well. You are going to get used. You are going to be talked about. You may get abused in particular ways. It comes with the territory. Being used as a servant of God should be a common thing for you. I know for myself, giving people my time was somewhat difficult for me, especially when they would constantly ask for help and ask me to help them for hours. That would really, really get on my nerves. When it came down to money and stuff like that, I was more willing to give that than my time. My time was much more precious to me. And even till this day, at times, people constantly ask for this, ask for that. Kevin, can you give me a ride? Kevin, can you do this for me? Kevin, can you do that for me? And I would really, <laughs> but something inside of me, you see, it is really going to come down to how much of the Bible are you going to obey? How much of the Bible you are going to obey? The more of the Bible that you obey, the more humble you are, the higher that you are going to excel in God. There were so many more areas back in the past where I struggled so much. But I learned after I gave in and surrendered everything to God, I became more and more close to him. I can see changes in the way I pray. I can see changes in the way my prayers are answered. There is a difference when you get higher in God. I am telling you, the higher level that you get in God, I am telling you, you are going to see changes. The reason why you may not think so, because you are on the outside looking in. But there are major changes when you excel much higher in God. And I am not saying that Kev is on this top level in God. I am not saying that. So let me get to my point. As a servant of God, you are going to be used. Get used to that. Sometimes it is really hard for me because in some cases, I can see people's 
intent for me. Like, I know why they are asking for this. I know why they are doing this. And they believe that I am some type of idiot <laughs> or some doormat. But I don't say anything because I know that this person is coming to me and God is watching how I am interacting with this person. I want to pass the test. I want to pass the test. So I don't say anything and act like I don't know what is going on. And they believe that they can walk all over me and stuff like that. But I don't care. Obviously, that person is asking me and not really other people because there is a reason for that. Perhaps God has something planned for me or God may be trying to break something off my life and see if I am going to do what the Bible says toward that person or toward that enemy. There is a reason why certain people come your way and ask for your help or whatever else. Nothing is ever a coincidence. I am at the point of my life now where <laughs> it is so clear to me nothing ever happens to me unless it is for a reason and it is usually a godly reason and one way or the other it is something that pertains to God every single time even if things seem very simple. Let me get to my point, my Lord. So let me go down this other route. <laughs> we can't take people for granted. When people do things for us, we can't have the mind frame, hey, this person is always going to be there for me. So let me just act in a way where it is a usual thing for this person to help me or for something to come my way. What we have to do is thank people even if what they are doing is really small we need to thank people i am not saying to thank them every hour or every second but thank people when they are doing something for you now for myself i don't really care so much about people thanking me because I know that what I am doing for people, I am doing it unto God. I don't look for people to do things for me. I don't look or expect people to do things for me or to give me thanks because I know that when I do for others, I am going, I am going to reap what I have sown. This is what is always on my mind. But some people may not be living for God. Some people may be struggling with depression and other mental issues. Some people need people to say thanks to. Some people need you to say thanks to. Yes, I believe I am saying that right. Sometimes the people that you are receiving from need you to thank them. Yes. <laughs> Some people will get really, really hurt 
if you continue to receive from them and you are not thanking them, they are going to feel used or mistreated. And they may even tire out with doing so many things for you without you really saying thanks or doing something back for them. Some people are that way. Everyone is not really serving God. So you can't expect everyone to have the mind frame, hey, when I do for people, I am doing it unto God. So what I am saying, when you are receiving from a person, hey, say thank you to them. Perhaps give them something in return to show that you appreciate that person. There is nothing wrong with that. But don't get into the mind frame, hey, this person has been doing this for me every week, so I am not going to say thank you or I am not going to really think about it because this person has been doing this for me for quite a while now. Don't get into that mind frame. We should thank people. I know, was it two days ago? Or last night? Maybe one or two days ago. My aunt was doing something for me. And I was having like a very strong urge to thank my aunt. And I am thinking, it is not really a big deal for me to thank her. But I was having this strong urge to thank her. So, I went and I thanked my aunt. Who knows what effect that is going to have on her? I don't know. I know that usually when I have a strong urge come to me to do something that is not a sin, <laughs> it is usually the Holy Spirit telling me to do it and if the Holy Spirit is telling me to do it, obviously, it is going to make the difference. So thank people. Don't take anyone for granted. The people that are doing so much for you in your life now, what you should do is call them up or talk to them and tell them thank you even buy them something to show that you appreciate what they are doing in your life now. One thing I learned, yes, the big things count, but the small things count as well. Sometimes, in some cases, doing many small things to show your appreciation to people means much more than doing a large thing for a person every so often. The small things count as well. So don't despise doing small things for people because especially when a person doesn't feel appreciated, those small things add up. I am telling you. So if your mother or father, aunt, friend, cousin, whomever, whoever is constantly doing things for you, show your appreciation to them. Say thank you. Buy them something. Do something for them now. And not only this one time, but continue to do it over and over and over again. I am telling you, it makes the difference. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless you.